My name is N4S Videos, and I'm here to give you a quick little message. If you're new to this channel, just understand that this is a parody of cinema since it's everything wrong with series. Keep in mind that this video is for comment and entertainment purposes only. Nothing that will be mentioned in this video is to make anyone feel offended or to bash the game itself and the franchise. Anyways, enjoy the video and take care of yourself if you're watching this during the pandemic. It's funny when you think about the fact that Blackbots worked so hard in making this intro cutscene and tease us with one feature that the sequel has that this game doesn't, and you're looking at it. So, discount too fast, too furious? <laughs> <laughs> is that your fantasy? Yes. Yes, it is. Ouch, that is seriously weak, dude. Yeah, 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 you say that to all sets of the cars that we get available that we can buy on a budget, Samantha. We get it. You don't have to flex on the fact that you have a faster Civic than all sets of these cars here. You started with a stock Civic, alright? Jesus. What do you expect? We're not grateful. We're not grateful like people in the future that will get Caymans as their first vehicle or 911s. I want to say something along the lines like, damn, Melissa looks fine. But when looking at this cutscene in 2020, it just makes me want to say, damn, Melissa looks fine. Behind the scenes. But it was 2003, so it is what it is. Nah, this stuff's weak. Anybody can buy this crap. Trust me, you don't want this stuff. And it's a warning given by Samantha that the society of today, or at least in the 2010s and the 2000s after this game came out, just didn't listen. Hey, I got what you need. Get real. There are some parts you can't buy at any price. I'm the only one that can make it happen for you. Buy what? Good connections or smuggling it illegally from Japan or wherever you got them from? I trusted you, and, and, and now you want to take me on? See you at the street, punk! Come on, Sammy, can we at least have a one-on-one -on -one race between the two of us? It's not like we ever get to experience this moment often of us racing against our supportive female protagonist, and it was all due because of the fact that we were forced by the plot progression and the fact that AD called us a dork, and we really want to go against them one-on-one. -on -one. Import sooner, dude. You want on their cover? You gotta win this next race. I find it funny that Sam is still talking to us about magazine deals despite the fact that we got her Civic towed by TJ. Like, really, you would think she would cut all types of communication against us and not be able to contact her again. This almost felt like a moment where a Honda Skyline runs me over just to 1v1. I wanted to save this for the verdict, but I just can't take the car sound seriously anymore. How many sound files did Blackbots have to borrow from Universal's library from the first two Fast and Furious movies just to go ahead and try to deceive me and others that this is how a Honda Civic sounds? This only just doesn't go for this scene. Other cutscenes have this. Race centers have this. And even other Need for Speed games after this one has this. And you can't really fool me because this is 16 years before we were allowed to swap engines. Imagine getting asked the same question from the beginning of the game at the end of the game. <laughs> is that your fantasy?
Yeah. This game. The one that started it all. The game that you can say it's a big deal to you because it probably was part of your childhood back in the day. And the game that you can also say that this put Need for Speed where it's at today. But you know, the one thing that you can say just kind of ruins the game in a negative way is the rubber banding of the AI. You know, that one thing that is always going to happen, or somewhat going to happen in arcade racing games, including this franchise, even after this game. Like most one little five, Blacklist number nine. This game is just, I'm not going to lie to you, even doing all of my editing and all of my research and all everything that I had to do to put this video together. Rubber banding was just a big issue in the gameplay. Not too much, but events like event number 95. What the hell, man? I'm not really surprised. I mean, I remember when I played this game five years ago, I encountered things similar to this. Never completed it on the ground one, but I experienced it. The cars in this game, it's a pretty good selection. Really good, especially when this franchise has started to hop on the trend back then. Really missed opportunity was the fact that it didn't have an open world. Yeah, we eventually went to roam around the streets of Bayview, but Olympic City, especially looking at the map on the event selection. Dude, this city is perfect to go around in the streets freely and not just in a certain type of circuit or sprint. The music in this game, you know it's a good playlist that I want to sing along or rap along. I just don't know if music publishing companies are that kind to people just doing those two things. Because they're greedy for that brand. Even during this time that we are in in 2020. I don't know how you feel about the cutscenes. I mean, for me, I mean, you could say it was I back then, but then nowadays, you know, it's trash. I just don't know how you feel about them, even if you play the game when it came out or a year after or two. I mean, you know, it's just crazy to think about that we went from CG to comic cutscenes to live action cutscenes. And then in the midst of two, and then after that just in game and then back to live action. But I wish the story of this game was longer. Really, I do. Customization. Yeah, you can say this never aged well. <laughs> But kind of sucks that we couldn't own more than one vehicle in underground mode. And this concludes the verdict. And I know, I forgot to say this and that. Just say it in the comments. Remind me that I forgot this and that and add it to the sink counter. But yeah, there is cut content of this game. This game, you could say, really, again, it's what made your childhood, what made the franchise. And I got a need for speed. All right, all right, all right. Few last minute sins before I end this video for good. The RSX wheels from the beginning of the game. Which color do these wheels identify as? That one cutscene where Eddie just throws some bread and tells me to get a cab and dip. I wanna say your character development as a villain bores me, but your Skyline R34 does amaze me. A better antagonist should have been TJ because this comment from this man or woman impressed me. I mean, the guy vandalized a girl's Civic just to make the thing go from four to six cylinders. 